But what I'm here to do today is ask you, are you ready to blow off some steam? That was mediocre. Are you ready to blow off some steam? That was legendary. All right, when I think of steam, I think of two things. The first thing that comes to my mind is locomotives, of course. The second thing is anger. So we are gonna look at some ways to blow off steam. So I like games, do you guys like games? Games are awesome, especially when they're played with angry players, right? Nobody knows what's gonna happen, it's kinda dangerous, it's exciting. So luckily for me, we have a very good audience and I've got five audience participants that are gonna help me play this game. So if they will make their way on stage and grab their props, I'll explain to you how we will play this game. They are each going to act out a method of blowing off steam. Some of these methods will be appropriate or effective, some of them will not, and it is up to you to be the judge. And here is how you're gonna vote. You're gonna give a woo-hoo, like a woo-hoo, like that, practice with me. Woo-hoo! When I say woo, you say who, woo. 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 Excellent, and this is why, because you could be woo-hooing for one of two reasons. Number one, you truly think it's an appropriate method, method of blowing off steam, or number two, you simply loved the way they acted that, okay? <laughs> Nobody will know if you're wrong or not, just, just be loud. So, at the end of this, I will let you know which ones were right, and then we will go through a couple of methods ourselves that are effective together, okay? So collectively, everybody, since you're gonna participate after this, I want you to think of something that makes you really angry, really steams you up. I'm talking about cars that don't share the road with bikes. I'm talking about people that leave their shopping carts in the parking lot. I'm talking about people that got towed last night and had to pick up their car for 200 bucks at the impound lot. <laughs> yes, this happened to me, and it made me really steamy. And I did one of these things, and I'll tell you which. All right, so one at a time. Are you ready? Are you angry? Are you channeling your inner method actor? Yeah? Go. More! Angrier! Angrier! Yes! That's what I'm talking about! All right, Maggie, go! Dog in place, yep. Wonderful. Eric? We all have voodoo dolls, right? Have you ever poked yourself when you've been working on your voodoo doll? Me either. Um, nausea. And last but very, very much not least, Suzanne. You guys, if you need a manager, you let me know. I think Holly was calling your name. All right, can I get a woo-hoo if you think ripping something up, you know, really getting your anger out by taking it out on something inanimate, and you know, nobody got hurt here. Let me hear you, was this effective? Okay, exercise. Is exercise? Voodoo dolls. <laughs> but it was cool, right? Eating. Interesting. Screaming into a pillow, getting all of that anger out vocally. Okay, well my two people who truly had effective things, this is you, Naja, step forward. Exercise. As an exercise physiologist, I believe that exercise is a panacea to good health and it is in fact a good way of blowing off steam. Thank you, Maggie. Studies show that walking just 20 minutes three times a week can lower your circulating cortisol levels by 15%. Cortisol is the nasty stress hormone that makes us fatter in the midsection and gives us metabolic disorder. Okay. Soapbox moment, done. And then Naja was actually eating, which admittedly I was like, what, really? But our next speaker will tell you why food is in fact helpful for aggression and blowing off steam. So please give our participants a round of applause as they exit the stage, parting gifts. This is for you. This is for you. This is for you. This is for you. And you get one when you turn 21. Okay. 
Do I have a minute? Do I have a minute to finish? So I would love, since you're all riled up after watching that, so food and exercise, of course. Everybody get your exercise. There's a couple things I'd like to do with you if you'll give me a moment. The first thing is let's breathe, right? We do it every day, all day. We hardly ever think about it, but it is one of the most effective things you can do to blow off steam. So let's take a moment to think about it. I want you to channel your inner baby. Place one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly. And as you inhale, feel your chest and belly rise. And as you exhale, feel your chest and belly fall. Good. So we're going to practice this. We're going to continue this. You can release your hands, and you'll make a very light fist with one hand, and we'll do what's called five-fingered breathing. And as you inhale, I will count, and you will extend one finger at a time from thumb to pinky. And as you exhale, we'll bring it back in. We'll do that a couple times. Feel free to close your eyes. It really helps. All right. So we inhale one, two, three, four, five, and exhale two, three, four, five. Good. Now we just did that once. Hopefully you feel pretty good. Imagine if you did that a few times. Imagine if you did that when you were truly angry or when you got that email that was the email of the day that you were going to think about all night. Just try that, okay? One more thing really quickly. We're going to do stretching. Anybody sit at a desk all day? Anybody not sit at a desk all day, right? And so what do we do? We do this all day. Our shoulders kind of roll forward, right? Anybody get tense up here? So if you sit at a desk at all, you should be doing this stretch. So I want you to sit up nice and straight, feet flat on the floor, uncross your legs, scoot your hips back. Good, and really roll the shoulder blades down and back. Inhale, center, and let's exhale, right ear to right shoulder, really drawing both shoulders down to the floor. You'll feel that stretch in the neck and all the way down into the shoulder. And inhaling through center, and exhaling left ear to left shoulder, still keeping that belly breathing, and inhaling to center, and just to finish it off, hands to heart. And as always, we end with a namaste. Namaste. Wonderful. I hope you feel better.